ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜீயர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜீயர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டுமாரோ இஸ் மாசி ஆயில்யம் திஸ் இஸ் அ வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் டே ஃபார் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் தி திருநக்ஷத்திரம் டே ஆஃப் பிள்ளை உரங்காவிலி தாசர் ஹி வாஸ் கிரேட்லி அட்டாச்ட் டு எம்பெருமானார் ராமானுஜா and sri ranganatha let us see a glimpse of his life and glories he was born in tiruvurayur a divya desham which is located very close to sri rangam he is also known as dhanurdasa he was the chief wrestler in the king's court and was a very wealthy person he was married to ponnachi he was greatly attached to his wife who was very beautiful they were engaged in worldly affairs but they were fortunate to be blessed by emperor himself one day dasa and his wife were walking along the streets during the day time it was very hot dasa was holding an umbrella protecting his wife from getting affected by the sun he was also walking in front of her spreading a cloth on the ground so that she can comfortably walk on that cloth at the same time emperormana ramanuja was also coming at the same location along with his disciples he observed this person who is pampering his wife in public he was amazed to see that he immediately sent his disciples and asked this person to be brought in front of him both of them came and stood in front of emperormana in a humble manner knowing his saintly position ramanujar asked him why are you doing this in public don't you have any shyness and he immediately replied i greatly admire my wife's beautiful eyes to protect that beauty i will do anything ramanujar understood that he was very attached to the physical beauty he thought for a moment i should reform this person he immediately thought about an idea he asked him if i showed you more beautiful eyes would you be attracted and be surrendered to the person who is having such eyes and thus i immediately responded saying certainly there can be no eyes which are more beautiful than my wife's eyes but if there are eyes which are more beautiful than my wife's i will certainly become totally surrendered to the person who is having such eyes emperormana immediately took both of them to sri ranganathas inner sanctum he prayed to periya perumal sri ranganatha to manifest the same beautiful eyes he manifested to tirupanalvar so that this person also becomes reformed and becomes greatly attached to emperorman accepting emperorman or prayers periya perumal manifested his beautiful eyes to dasa and captured dasa's heart 
Dasa became mesmerized looking at Emberman's beautiful eyes. At once he fell at the divine feet of Emberman's and thanked him for showing such great treasure of Bhagavan. He also requested Emberman to accept him as his disciple. His wife followed the same principle and she also prayed to Emberman that she becomes her disciple. Emberman happily accepts both of them as his disciples, starts teaching them all the important principles of our Sampradayam. They also become greatly attached to Emberman and Emberman and constantly engage themselves in the service of Bhagavan and Bhagavatas. Once during a Tirthavari, that is the final ceremonial bathing of Perumal during the end of the Utsavam, Emberumana took the sacred bath and started climbing the steps in Chandra Pushkarani, the temple tank inside Sri Rangam temple. He held on to the hands of Pillevarangavili Dasar. Some disciples of Emberumana wondered why is a sannyasi holding the hands of someone who is not a brahmana. Emberumana understood the mood which was there. He wanted to ensure everybody understood the greatness of Pilli Varangavili Dasa and Ponnachiyar. After returning to the mud, he asked Dasa and Ponnachiyar to go to their residence and take rest for some time. Both of them took the orders of Embermana and went to their residence and started resting. Here in the mud, Embermana asked those who were doubting Dasar to go to the residence of Dasar and Ponachia, asked them to bring as many ornaments or wealth from there without their knowledge. These Sri Vaishnavas went there. They observed that Ponachiyar was lying on the ground, resting. They went close to her. She was sleeping. They started removing the ornaments from one side of her body. She understood somebody was trying to steal something from her. She thought this may be some poor people. So she remained still so that they are not disturbed in their act. And once they removed all the ornaments from that side, she naturally turned around so that they can take the ornaments from the other side. But looking at her change in posture, they became scared and they ran out. They returned to the mud. They offered the ornaments to Embermana. Embermana took them and told them to go back to Dasar's residence and see what is happening there. They went back. They observed at that time that Dasar was upset with Ponachiyar. He was asking, why did you turn around immediately? You should have waited for some time and then turned around so that they would have taken the ornaments from the other side. Such was their generosity and benevolence. Looking at this from the outside, they, Sri Vaishnavas who were doubting them, understood the greatness of Dasa. They came to Embermanar and explained everything and asked for forgiveness. 
they also went to dasar and punachya and asked for forgiveness for their misunderstandings once shri ramanuja hemberumana was giving a lecture on shri ramayanam he was explaining the vibhishana sharanagati sequence vibhishana gave up everything and was waiting outside the camp of shri rama sugriva and others were saying vibhishana should not be admitted into the group into their armies shri rama was arguing with them saying that vibhishana should be accepted as pillai urangavili dasar was hearing this part of the lecture he started crying and stood from his position embermanar asked what was wrong and dasar said if this is the situation for vibhishana who gave up everything where shri rama was delaying to accept vibhishana where is hope for person like me embermanar says do not worry we depend on our acharya parampara for our moksha for our liberation if i get moksha i will certainly take you along to moksha if periyanambi got moksha i will get moksha if periyanambi's acharya alavandar got moksha periyanambi would have got moksha as well if alavandar grandfather nakamunigal got moksha alavandar would have certainly got moksha as well if nakamunigal's direct acharya nammalvar got moksha nakamunigal would have also gotten moksha as we all know nammalvar did get moksha so we all are sure to get moksha in this manner hearing this dasar became pacified there are many incidents which are shown in the commentaries by our acharyas in relation to pillai urangavali dasar he was known to be a great devotee of bhagavan in tiruvai moli in one pasaram alva says pale tamilar isaikara paktar paktar here means bhakta nambillai in the commentary explains that pillai urangavelli dasar is one such perfect bhakta pillai urangavelli dasar is also compared to periyalvar who performed mangala shasanam to emperor he is also compared to shri vidura who was greatly attached to krishna he is also glorified as mahamati one who is a great intellectual in having great attachment towards emperor pillai lokacharya also greatly celebrates pillai urangavelli dasar in his sri vachana bhushanam while explaining mangala shasanam principle manavala mamnigal too while composing yel satra which is a collection of pasarams which are recited at the end of procession during utsavams festivals picked the first pasaram to be the one compiled one sung by pillai urangavelli dasar while enjoying the greatness of pillai urangavelli dasar we should also understand the greatness of ponachiya his wife who is equally celebrated by our acharyas to be a great intellectual and a great devotee at the same time once 
many disciples of arulala permal emberumanar such as anantalvan marudur nambi tondanur nambi all of them went to emberumanar udeva and asked if there are many acharyas for the atma or if there is only one acharya for the atma emberumanar tells them now go and ask the same question to panachiyar and she will give you the answer they all go to panachiyar and ask the same question to her she says i am a helpless woman what would i know about these principles saying this she spreads out her hair and then collects them all ties them at the top with a saffron thread and then immediately leaves the place they were all confused what she was trying to say so they came back to embermanar and told him what happened embermanar said she has given you the answer but you could not understand it she spread her hair saying that there are many acharyas finally she collected all the hair and tied it together with the saffron thread saying all of the acharyas will be represented by one single acharya and the saffron thread highlights that that acharya will be a sanyasi and she is talking about me ramanuja only in this case hearing this everyone got delighted this incident is highlighted in charamopaya nirnayam a beautiful grantham embermana goes on to explain why she left the place immediately after doing this he said one should carefully worship the acharya in his heart all the time such was the intellect of panachiya after some time pilli varangavali dasar decides to ascend to paramapadam he invites the sri vaishnavas in srirangam to his residence performs tadiya radhanam for them and then accepts their shri pada teertham he tells ponachiyar that he is leaving to paramapadam but she should continue to remain here keeping impermanars padukas on his head he gives up his final divine body charmatirmeni all the sri vaishnavas become struck with grief still they arrange for his final journey they perform sri churna paripalanam for him ponachiyar in the meantime decorates the residence beautifully joyfully cares for all the sri vaishnavas who were performing the last rites and as he is taken away she gives a joyful farewell to him but as soon as his body was taken to the end of the street she starts crying out loudly saying how can i live without dasar in this world and at once gives up her life as well the sri vaishnavas who were there 
became astonished at her devotion and arranged her final rites as well along with dasars. In this manner, both Pillai Varangavalli Dasar and Pannachiyar lived a greatly dignified life of being totally committed towards Emberman, Embermanar and all the Bhagavatas. They showed utmost subservience towards the Bhagavatas all the time. During this auspicious Trinakshatram occasion of Pillai Varanga Dasar, we had this wonderful opportunity to meditate upon Pillai Varanga Dasar and Ponachiyar, Alvar, Emberamana, Jiyar, Thiruvadigade Sharanam, Jiyar, Thiruvadigade Sharanam. Please download our Koil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store to listen to or download Upanyasams like these. Our website portal is koyil.org koil.org